Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Before this video starts, I just want to bring your attention to the hashtag that I've used on today's video. The hashtag is YouTubers for NHS Heroes and it was created by Saffron Barker. Saffron and many other creators that get involved with this hashtag are going to be donating the ad revenue earned from their video uploaded today, which is Saturday the 11th of April, and throughout April to NHS charities together COVID-19 urgent appeal. Now, as I don't earn any money from my videos and I haven't earned anything from this specific video, I have decided to donate £10 myself and I've just done that before starting filming this video. If you want to donate yourself, I will leave a link in the description so that you can do that. I just wanted to share the hashtag on this video and add this at the start of the video to create as much awareness as possible. I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to the NHS and all the key workers out there for doing their best every day because you are all doing an incredible job. Now let's jump into today's video. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. For today's video I wanted to share with you my university interview experience for a maths degree. Now I applied to do a pure mathematics degree, a bachelor of science and when I was applying and when I was preparing for my interview I tried to look at a few videos, some mock interview videos and advice videos specifically for a maths degree interview and I couldn't find any. So I want to put this video online today to help anyone who's thinking of applying to do a maths degree or preparing for an interview. This video is going to be split up into five parts and I'll put them on screen here. I will also timestamp the videos in the description if you want to jump to a certain section. Let's get on with the video. part in this video is the degree that I applied for. Now if you're unaware you can do a pure maths degree, you can do maths with finance, maths with a language some universities offer, you can do loads of different types of maths degrees. Now I applied for a pure mathematics degree, it was a bachelor of science degree and I had my interview for that. The interview wasn't as serious as I thought it was going to be and it wasn't just one single interview, it was a whole day that there at the university and I'll explain a little bit more about that in the next parts in this video. The second part of this video is preparation. Now I sent my application off via UCAS and it took around six weeks from sending my application to actually having my interview. I was told about my interview, I think it was around about a month before the interview date, so I had time to prepare. To prepare, I watched a few videos online about university interviews, and I couldn't actually find many specifically about maths interviews. So hence one of the reasons why I wanted to create this video. There are a few on YouTube that I will leave in a link in the description if you want to have a watch of those as well to prepare further. Now the majority of maths interviews will ask you a mathematical question and they are quite different to A-level questions and the questions that you're used to seeing. So for that reason I watched a few step videos and math videos which are the maths exams or the entrance exams for universities. Not all universities require an entrance exam and the one that I had an interview at didn't require an entry exam but I wanted to see those style of questions because the questions that you get asked in your interview, like I said, are different to what you've seen before. I also had a Google at mathematical questions that universities ask in interviews, and there was a few pages and videos that covered on there. I had a go at some of the questions, and I did get stuck, I'm not gonna lie, and that's fine because I'll get onto that later in the video. Now, the night before my exam to prepare, I got certificates ready, like my head boy certificate from high school, because I was head boy in high school, and I've mentioned that in my personal personal statement, so I wanted some evidence in the interview in case that came up that I could show my certificate. Also because I was applying for maths, I got anything maths related that I achieved during high school and college, 
So for example, any postcards that I had from my maths teachers because I'd achieved high in a test, things like that, I collected together just in case I wanted to refer to them in the interview. Now, spoiler alert, I didn't actually use them in my interview and I didn't use my head boy certificate because it just didn't feel necessary for me to get them out and show them because the interview was going quite well. The night before, I also reread my personal statement because I wanted to refresh my memory of what I've said in my personal statement because the interviewer is allowed Allowed to question you on parts of your personal statement and it wouldn't look very good if you've forgotten what you've written. So I just had a quick read through the night before just to refresh what I put in my personal statement. Now the third part in this video is what happened during the day. I spent a whole day at the university and the interview was only a tiny part of the day. Now I had the option of bringing my parents or not, but my parents wanted to come with me, so that's what they did. On arrival, we were just given an ID badge and we had to sign in and we were given a pack which had a booklet in and a timetable of everything that was happening during the day. Then once everyone had arrived, we had a maths talk and the guy took us through how a computer uses maths and how a computer can help a mathematician to solve the nitty gritty bits that you don't really need to do yourself because a computer can do it really quickly. Then after the maths talk, we had a Q&A where we could ask any questions that we wanted to and parents and students did ask questions during that just to get a feel for the day. Once the Q&A had finished, we were then put into to smaller groups and we were took with students that are already at the university. We were taken on a tour around the campus. It was really useful to talk to the students because they were already doing a maths degree. They had inside knowledge that maybe the lecturers wouldn't have given us because the lecturers aren't students themselves. We were taken on a tour around the campus inside and out and we could ask questions that we wanted to to the students and it was a really good time to ask questions if you wanted to and I did ask quite a few. They were maths related, they were campus related, university related, anything that we asked the students had an answer to. They also showed us things like accommodation and how close it is to the university and where you're able to stay for accommodation if you were to live at the university. Because my parents came, they went on a separate tour with other students as well. And to be honest, I don't know where they went, but they were talking to students and they were toured around around the campus just like us. But I think they separated us so that we didn't feel embarrassed to ask questions if our parents were there. I don't really know, but we were separated during the tour. Then after the tour, we came back, we had some lunch and then we waited for our interview. Now that brings us on to the fourth part of this video, which is the actual interview. I don't know about all universities, but we were all in the same room for the interview. There was many different math staff in the room and we had individual interviews, but they were in the same room. The interview was with a member of the maths department. They were either a lecturer or a researcher, but they were heavily involved in the maths department. I was asked questions like why I wanted to take maths, a bit about myself, my background in maths, what my favorite maths topic was, if anyone's interested, I said differential equations. We were also asked questions about our career goals and why we chose maths as a degree and what we wanted to do after the degree. The majority of maths interviews will ask you a maths question. And I know many other people in my group that we had a tour with, after I came out of my interview, were talking to me and they said they were given a specific question. I don't know whether I was just lucky or the guy liked me, but I actually got to choose my own question. I basically made it up. He asked me what my favorite part of maths was I said differential equations, specifically second order differential equations, and he just asked me to explain them. So I had a piece of paper and I explained them to him. After I had explained them, he gave me a question to solve. If anyone's unaware, first order differential equations are easier to solve than second order differential equations. And what I did was explained second order, and then he gave me a first order to solve. So I was like, this is, this is amazing. 
I managed to solve the question quite easily, but if you are struggling in the interview, what you need to do is just explain your process. What they're looking for is how you approach the question. They're not looking for a perfect solution with the final answer. They want to see your thinking and your thought process. So if you do get stuck on the question, don't worry, you can start again if you want to. You can ask them for help because they will want to help you because they want to see how involved you are in the maths and how passionate you are about it. The fifth part of this video is some advice. Now this advice I would have wanted to hear before my interview, so I think it would be useful if you hear it yourself. In the interview, make sure to be yourself. Don't try and put a front on because it, it's not the real you. Make sure you are as much of yourself. No. Make sure you're as calm as possible so when you go in there, you're just able to talk and you can answer the questions that they're giving you. Now, the interviewer will ask you questions, but make sure you ask them questions as well. They're interested about you and they love it when you're interested about them. So during my interview, I asked what his favourite part of maths was, how long he'd been working at the university and how long he'd been a lecturer for. And he got talking about his research he's doing in maths and he seemed quite interested that I asked him a question. So definitely ask your interviewers questions because you also have a better chance of being remembered if you ask a question as well. I've also written down here, get your interviewer talking. Like I just mentioned, my interviewer was telling me about the research he was doing. And once they get talking, I mean, it's kind of time for you to sit back and listen, still be prepared to answer a question that they give you, but you can sit back and listen and take in a little bit of what the lecturer is talking about because if you look interested, like I said, you're more likely to be remembered. When you're given your maths question, make sure you talk out loud, talk out loud, talk out loud. Like I said in the previous part of the video, they're wanting to see your thought process and how you approach the question. So if you don't speak out loud and it's all happening in your head, the interviewer has no idea whether you're stuck, whether you're doing it in your head before you do it on the paper or anything like that. So please, please, please speak your solution out loud. This was easy for me because it actually is my revision technique. Any question that I get given, if it's from a past paper or homework or just revision that I'm doing, I'll talk to myself out loud so that it goes into my brain better. You should try it yourself, it's, it's quite good. And to finish off this video, like I've already said, remember they are not looking for a perfect solution when you're doing your maths question. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe. Let me know if you have any further questions on university interviews, specifically for a maths degree, but if you've got any general questions, I'll also be willing to answer them. Remember, I've left the link in the description if you want to donate like myself to the NHS charity, please feel free to do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay at home, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!